Hola muchachos, welcome here. I am serving you guys up a story time because last week I may have gone to the worst nail salon appointment in my entire life and it left me scarred so I thought I'd share those scars with you. I've had so many people asking for me to do more story time videos. To be honest, I'm not a very good storyteller but I do like telling stories. I figure I'd share this one with you guys. I also have a lot of people asking for me to do like my job history story time and how I got fired from three different jobs and I know that makes it sound like I'm a horrible worker but I'm actually a really really good worker. Not to like pat my own back, but just I've been told I'm a good worker, but just didn't work out in these three jobs. And I'll save that for that story time. But today we're going to talk about what happened last week at my nail appointment from hell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope you guys like these kind of videos. If you do, be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're going to go ahead and get started. So back in the day, I used to always get like gel shellac on my nails just because it lasted forever and never chipped. And my nails just always looked nice and I didn't have to do anything with them. I haven't actually gone to a nail salon in for ever. But I've been recently thinking about if I could do just one extra thing like once or twice a month, what would it be? And it was honestly getting my nails done. It just makes me feel really feminine. It's nice having them done. I think especially when it comes to YouTube, it just looks nice on film. This was an extra thing I wanted to do for myself. So I was like, sweet, I'm going to book myself a nail appointment. Usually I go to an awesome nail salon. It's run by great people and I usually always go there not this time. For some reason, I thought I'd change it up. Moral of this story, don't fix what isn't broken. If you have a great nail salon, continue going, because this was really bad. So I decided to go to this other salon, and my first guess that this was gonna be bad should have just been with all of the services they provide. Tanning, lashes, makeup, permanent makeup, nails, tattoos, they wanna start doing hair, I think they do waxing. I find that places that do a lot of things usually aren't that good overall. Maybe their tanning is really great, but everything else is kinda of lacking, you know what I mean? Not in all places, but in a lot of places that I've been to. I've just experienced that. If you're gonna to go to a nail salon, I find a lot of the time just going to a, a, a strictly nail salon or maybe nails and lashes, is a better idea than go to a salon that literally has everything. Not in all cases, but let's say specifically in this case. So I book an appointment and I arrive at the place and I have no idea where it is. All I'm seeing is a pizza parlor and like an accessory clothing store. And I was like, where is this place? I'm opening up all these doors like to this pizza parlor and whatever. And I'm like, it's not here, it's not here. And then I open up this other door and there's a long flight of stairs that goes deep down into a basement. And I was like, is this it? Okay, <laughs> here I go. So I go downstairs, it's like <laughs> The stairs are like squeaking and then I go down and I can see okay I'm in a salon, but I'm scared for my life. <laughs> There's like exposed Water pipes, which is like normal like I see that in a lot of businesses and they'll just paint it the same color as the ceilings No, these are exposed water pipes that are not only leaking they're rusty and they're like leaking rust. It is staining the walls and their curtain, like they have like white curtains like randomly placed here and there and there's rust stains on the curtains. I was not okay at all. I started just kind of like <sighs> I lit for a second I thought I need my mom. I literally had that thought like, I wish my mom was here. I think we just naturally do that. If you had like a really good upbringing and you had like a really good mom, you just naturally want your mom there at certain points in your life when you're just kind of like, ah, I really wanted my mom at this point. No one is there. It's like a scary deserted salon that smells like tanning lotion. All of a sudden, bing, someone peeks out from behind like a wall and I was like, whoa. And she was like, hi. And I was like, hey, my name is Sarah and I'm here for a nail appointment. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah. And then this other person popped out She's like, oh, you're Sarah. Okay, you're with me. And I was like, great. She leads me to this corner and it is disgusting. Her workstation is probably like a three foot desk. It's on wheels that are not locked. That is a bad decision. And it is a pigsty. Food, pop can, like Diet Pepsi pop cans. Her phone is out. It also must double as some sort of other station and maybe that's why it's on wheels because there's just gunk on the station itself. I didn't really want to touch anything. And then there's like this big nail light shining directly into my eyes. It should be pointed like down so she can like really see my nails. They directly point it into your face. So I'm blind but I can still see this place is really sketchy. I know, let's just say, I know I should have ran, I know I should have ran so ridiculously fast, but I didn't. 
and I don't know why. But I didn't. I decided to stay. I thought, let's just see what happens. And I stayed and this is what happened. She brings out a Tupperware bin about this big. I think there was like 11 nail polishes in there. A normal salon has about 150, about 150 shellac colors to choose from. She had 11. Half of them were only glitter top coats. So we had about five or six actual shades we could choose from and about two or three of them were completely dried out. So even though I wanted really cute, light pink, nude, creamy nails, she convinced me to do forest green. This was not good. <laughs> The cleanliness of this place really freaked me out. It was really dingy. I think the rust everywhere was really kind of just like, huh. Also, this girl looked a little rough. Like, her hair looked a little rough. She was super shaky. Like, she was very shaky. And her nails looked horrible. I think when you're working in this kind of a profession, and especially even when I was a hairdresser, I had to look the part. I had to look like a hairdresser. I had to make people feel confident in me doing whatever they want me to do to their hair before I spoke a word. They just had to look at me and go, she's a hairdresser, she looks good, I like her hair, I trust her. I was looking at this girl and I was like, I don't think I trust her. She was, just looks a little rough. Not like it's bad to look rough, but in certain professions, you do have to look a certain way. And she looked rough. So she kind of looks at my nails and I was like, if you can trim them a little bit and shape them. She didn't do that. It's like she didn't even hear me. It just whew, right over her head. She didn't hear that. So she didn't do that. My hands were very like dry at this point. And usually before someone goes and like pushes back your cuticles, you soak your fingers in water just so they'll like soften and then they push them back. No, this girl pulls open a drawer, picks up some random stick. She starts going to town. She's pushing my cuticles so far back. They're starting to go like really red and almost feel swollen so I was like okay it was painful it was absolutely horrible I actually started just mildly kind of bleeding a little bit here and there from her being so rough pushing it back and I was and I actually said at one point like ow like because it actually really hurt and she was like oh sorry just pushing your cuticles back and I was like oh okay like this girl's rough with a random stick that she just pulled out of her like disgusting drawer. Cleanliness is so key. So I may have an infection, but I'll talk about that in a second. Still kind of hard for me to see at this point because this lamp is like right in my face, but it's like kind of right like like smushed into the table. So I couldn't like move it away. I don't know what they were thinking. They directed it like that. Rusty water still falling everywhere. <laughs> then she goes in with like those little, they're like the really tiny metal pruning shears and I start freaking out. Kind of had anxiety. I'm serious. The only snip that she did cut me so bad that I started tearing up. It was quite a hefty slice and after having her push my cuticles back so hard and then for her to take this, she was shaking like crazy. Go in and like snip. I was like, huh. I literally went, huh. And I start kind of tearing up and she was not making any eye contact with me because she know like, oh, I messed up. And she was like, oh, it was like a lot of dry skin I just had to get rid of. And I said, I was like, Dry skin doesn't bleed. I'm bleeding all over the table. All over this nasty, disgusting table that has like wax and hair stuck to it. So she gives me like all these different cloths cause I'm like filling them all up with blood. She's like, put pressure on, put pressure on. She's like, while you're putting pressure on this hand, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this one. And I was like, okay. She starts painting my nails and I was like, this is not okay. Where's my mom? <laughs> and she's like, okay, now you need to put it in the UV lamp thing and cure it. And I was like, I don't want to cure this. She's like, it's gonna look better. Like, just wait when it's all done. And I was like, okay, I don't trust you. <laughs> like, put it in. And then she starts doing this hand, which is bleeding like crazy. So she's getting polish into where she cut me. And I'm like, okay, this that really stinks. Like, that stinks. And she's like, no, no, it's fine. I'm gonna clean it all up. So she takes more wooden dowels and she's cleaning up around my cuticles and it's hurting so bad. She's like really getting it right to where she cut me. I'm bleeding all over the place. And while this is all happening, because this little table is on wheels, we're moving as as all this is happening. Like she's putting pressure onto like the little table and it's like wheeling to the side. We moved a solid foot and a half, I would say, the, the entire appointment. That gel polish, everywhere. So she does all the gel polish, it's all cured. And then she starts doing the top coat. But she only does the top coat on this hand and not on this end. So at this point, I'm bleeding and kind of in pain. I'm kind of like tearing up. My nails look disgusting. She's only like done like half of a job kind of on one hand and it all just looks horrible. And then she decides to literally, she puts peppermint oil on my cuticles. She's like, peppermint oil is so good for your cuticles. So now my cuticles are on fire. And then she leaves, she's gone all of a sudden. And I was like, are you done? Like, is she done? And I was like, 
I don't care if she's done, I'm leaving. And then apparently she's like, no, no, I'm done. And I was like, you're, but you just left. Like, okay. So I go to the front and I pay and the secretary, she was super chatty with the girl doing my nails like the entire time. She was like, talk, talk, talk. She was talking to her about like product and different things they were getting in, getting her to like smell different stuff. I almost felt like I was invisible. And then on top of that, she didn't, she did not hold my finger while she was painting it. She actually wanted me to have my hand floating and she was like painting. So I'm trying to stay as still as possible while she's painting my finger. And it was crazy. I book it out of there and I run to my car and then I was like, this is gonna be a story time. So I start filming on my phone. Okay, so I just got in my car. I don't know what happened, you guys. I'm curious. My fingers hurt so bad. I don't know what to do. All I know is that my fingers hurt so bad and I'm actually shaking because they actually hurt that bad. I don't know. I don't think, I don't, I don't know what to think. Do you see just how thick and goopy this is. I don't mean to be so extra, but I think when you pay to get something done and then you take time aside to get something done, you're paying someone to look after your kids and whatever, it sucks when it all just kind of doesn't work out very well. So she dug so deep into my skin right there. Even just look at like my pinky nail. It's so bad and it's so like, look at how goopy and thick it is. This one, she got her thumbprint on it. You see right there, she got her thumbprint on it. Look at how crazy this looks. It is so thick and goopy. Oh my gosh. And then I go home to my sister-in-law who's looking after my kids and I was like, you gotta see my nails. What on earth? She made you bleed. I was bleeding for over half an hour. This isn't even that bad. Like shaking because my hands hurt. Oh, she Sarah. was so horrible. Oh, but Sarah. look at like how oh, there's cloth. Do you see how goopy it is? There's like there's it's, thread. I've been pulling threads off of my nails. Look at that. She tore such a big chunk out of this one. Even my husband, Kieran, when he saw my nails, he was like, oh man. And he actually, he, I think he gave me a sympathy hug. I think that's what it was. And then the next day I was able to go to the salon, like my usual salon, and they fixed it all up. And the girl had a heck of a time doing it. Hey guys, I want to show you next day, especially in the sunlight, just what my nails look like. You can just see it's so bad. You can see just how uneven it is here. Look at how goopy it is, like crazy. It's my other hand. It's like completely peeled off that. Like, are you joking? So I'm about to get my nails fixed. It took her forever to get that nasty green color off. She worked so hard and I was like, oh, thank you. Don't fall for obviously fake Instagram posts because I don't believe a single picture that the other salon posted on their Instagram was actually from their salon, you know? Anyway, I think my skin got kind of infected. I've been putting stuff on it. It may be okay. It was really purple and swollen a little bit ago, but now it looks a lot better. But because she wasn't cleaning any of her instruments and she was probably just using like whatever crap she could find I got a little bit infected and definitely sore anyway my nails are now done they look great and everything's fine it was a flipping nail appointment it was not that big of a deal I think the only big deal is that my nails still hurt <laughs> and I may have an infection and that's it. Don't fix what's not broken. Just be true to the people you always go to and it'll be good. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.